right. Well, I got to tell you, this is one of those Windows 11 features that's new. And this is one of those Windows 11 features that I am going to absolutely love. As simple as it is, I'm going to love it. Uh, you saw, perhaps, in a previous video, I was discussing with you the concept of none other than, if we uh, look down at our taskbar here, the multiple desktop feature. And that's all wonderful. But now let's talk about staying on a single desktop and getting some help with Windows arrangements. One of the things that I've always loved about Windows UI compared to something like the Mac is that we can grab a window and we can bring it over uh, to the side and it will snap to fill half the screen. And then, of course, you can pick some other application and that's going to fill the other half of the screen. Yeah, nothing like this on the Mac, I don't believe. I actually run a utility called Moom that allows me to basically do the same thing. That's M-O-O-M. But, you know, what a bummer. I had to buy that, and I've always loved this feature of Windows. Well, now they've kicked it up a notch, and I love it. If we hover over the Maximize button, you're going to notice that there are these snap layouts. And this I'm actually going to be using, no kidding, in my Splunk class on tomorrow, Monday. Tomorrow, yes. When I teach Splunk tomorrow, I'm so going to take advantage of this. I manually arrange my windows this way, and now I'll never have to do it again. So notice, where do I want this Google window? Well, I want it right down here. And so it snaps down into that layout position. I want PowerPoint right here in this window. So I'll just click it there. And I want my classroom notes in this window. And so these snap layouts are just killer. And I think every operating system should be featuring this built in now, every GUI-based OS. And I'll be zooming in on these notes. Uh, yeah, what I'm going to use this for is the lab situation. So just to show you the use case, when my students are working in their lab, uh, I want that lab, uh, that lab slide up. Uh, where is it? Man, this... Uh, our PowerPoints for my Splunk classes are massive. We're talking like 300 slides or whatever. So yeah, this is what I want going on uh, when they're in a lab exercise. And I have a timer right here. Let's say it's a 15 minute lab. Forgive me, uh, you're very patient. You're sitting here watching me practice getting set up for class. Thank you. There, there we go. That's going to be perfect. So they can see how much time is left on the clock, they're working on their lab exercise, and I can have some notes for them in that screen. So thank you, Windows 11, for the snap layouts. I will be taking advantage of these for sure. Keep in mind, if you're using multiple monitors, you could use the snap layouts on the other monitor. And also, when you're working in a session, you could minimize, and of course, uh, just through the properties of Windows themselves, right? When we, uh, when we restore the windows, they would be in those same exact layouts that you had going, uh, I hope. Where's my, there we go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's so simple. There's not much else for me to say, right? I mean, if we decided to move them, you would just go to that snap layout you're using and just tell this window to go over there. And now you could put PowerPoint down here. Okay, so. There you have it. Snap layouts might be something that you are going to start taking advantage of in Windows 11 as I am.